All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to our presentation on supply and demand. So the product we chose to do is the NVIDIA chipset and uh, video cards and the COVID impact on supply and demand, particularly with uh, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX brand. So NVIDIA is an industry leader in video cards. They perform all the calculations needed to render images on a computer on what's called a GPU or a graphics processing unit. And uh, the, these are a couple of the devices that use the GPU. So your laptop, which I'm sure most people in here are using. Cell phones use GPUs. Desktops and gaming consoles such as PlayStation, Nintendo, uh, Xbox, they all use GPUs. Anything that needs to render 2D, 3D video, they will use these processors. So the applications of these, personal computing, you know, if you're doing anything for work, for school, just browsing the web, GPUs are in use and demand. Video games, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, anything that makes any games that require a lot of rendering, like putting together a 3D image or model of somebody, you, they use a GPU. And uh, cryptocurrency mining, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, Dogecoin. This has all been in the news a lot lately. Uh, high demand because the prices of cryptocurrency are going up. Cryptocurrency is a decentralized online currency that people can use with their phones or whatever, and it's not controlled by the Federal Reserve. So it's cross-platform, could go across countries. There's a huge demand for it right now. And then uh, finally, artificial intelligence, AI, uses these cards such as Tesla with their, their Roadsters or Model S's. They have different cameras and sensors and they use a GPU to do the processing to keep that car driving in autopilot mode. So pretty interesting things. Other uses of these GPUs other than just video games and personal computing that are coming out. So this is how processing works typically. Um, People used to think you just have one chip that works on a computer, like the brain. But in actuality, it's more a network of chips working together simultaneously. So we have our sound car that handles all the sound processing. We have network cards that handle the networking. And video cards handle all everything to do with video. And these all kind of work together and are routed to the CPU and managed by the CPU. But it's more of a network of processing units working together. All right, so here's a chart showing the revenue of NVIDIA. This is in billions of dollars. So we see in 2015 and 2016, about 4.68 billion, jump to five billion, six, nine, so it went through a steady increase to 2019, and then we had a huge, we had a reduction. We went from 11.72 billion in 2019 to a reduction of 1 billion, which is pretty significant, especially when you had all these years of, of an upward trend, and then it dropped down, and then you see a sudden spike in 2021. That's as we started to open all that pent up demand and people were just buying these up for higher prices. So this chart kind of backs up our increase in demand by sales. When we compare these top five manufacturers, Lenovo, Hewlett Packard, Dell, Apple, Acer Group, 2019 to 2020 fourth quarter sales, they increased across the board for all of them. So you take a look at the top here, Lenovo, fourth quarter 2019, they have sent 17,918, fourth quarter 2020, 23,122. And this happened all across the board with tens of thousands of more sales and units in 2020. 
So what caused this increase in demand? So a lot of it were the stay-at-home orders. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization officially classified the coronavirus as a pandemic. California implemented the first mandatory stay-at-home order by March 19th, and by May 31st, 73% of U.S. counties had a stay-at-home order in place. So we had a, with an exodus from the, the office, demand for computers grew. In 2020, the PC market grew by 13.1%, which is the largest growth in the market since 2010, when it grew by 13.7%. So here's a quote from Ryan Reith, an employee and market research firm IDC said that the growth centered around work from home and remote learning needs reflecting on the boom. Reith said the pandemic not only fueled PC market demand, but also created opportunities that resulted in a market expansion. All right. This is another thing that had an effect on our supply and demand was manufacturing our, and our supply chain. So manufacturing went down because of the lockdowns. And Taiwan, where most of these chips are made, is a landlocked country. Everything gets out by sea and air. And sea and air travel was drastically reduced due to stay-at-home orders. So it just reduced our supply. It reduced inventory worldwide. And uh, here's a quote from Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA. We would appreciate more agile supply chains, but you know the world is constrained at the moment, NVIDIA CEO says in an earnings call. And that's from uh, PC Magazine. So here's another indicator of an increase in demand and a lower supply is scalping. Uh, here's an article from PC Magazine talking about an increase in GPU supplies will occur in this current quarter. So with any luck, the products might be a little cheaper to buy in the coming weeks and months. But don't hold your breath. Unless the supplies drastically improve, we expect scalpers will continue to try to snatch up the cards then resell them for ridiculous prices on eBay. And we can see that right here. If you look at Best Buy, every one of these cards is sold out, starting at around $700 and $869. You literally go to eBay, look for the same card. You see them marked up for twice as much, for almost $1,500. So MSRP versus scalping prices. So this is a, another chart that shows a, a few different models uh, of these video cards going everywhere from 1500 to 330 And just look across at these. $1,500, June, it was almost $3,000. Then it reduced about $2,600 and 2607 right here. So it the prices shot up, and then they kind of came down a little bit and moved up. So... We're going to be in a weird territory for a while. So what happened? So we had a simultaneous reduction in supply and an increase in demand. So if you look right here, this is our supply line. Okay, so supply and then demand pre-pandemic, we're in equilibrium, okay? The price was at a good spot. The market encouraged the price. The pandemic hit. We had an increase in supply. It shifted to the left. Now, simultaneously, because of all the factors we talked about, this line, our demand, turned to the right. And we are not in equilibrium now because the, the price is still up pretty high. So how did this happen? Supply chain was reduced. We had a loss in a reduction in productivity. And this was all due to the lockdowns. So our demand increased, and this was due to remote working, an increase in online learning, like what we're doing right now, increase for home entertainment. People are at home more. They can't go outside. They need to entertain themselves at home. So they'll jump on that Xbox or that PlayStation or their computer. And then finally, like we talked about, cryptocurrency mining that has also 
had an effect on our demand, uh, but it's not really, has nothing to do with COVID. But uh, so our anticipated prices for these, everything uh, that I've read out there, it says it, we're going to be in this position for a little while, but we anticipate a reduction in demand and an increase in productivity with COVID restrictions slowly being lifted. The prices will slowly return to equilibrium probably over the next two years. It's not going to happen um, overnight, but it, it's going to take some time. This isn't a perishable product like toilet paper or something that can be manufactured pretty quickly. It takes a while to manufacture these products. A lot goes into it, and they aren't perishable, so it's something you'll hold on to for a while. So we're thinking about two two years or so before this product gets to be not the most expensive part of your computer. All right, and uh, that is our presentation. So uh, thank you very much, and have a good day.